Consider an infinite stack of cubes, where the side lengths decrease starting with 1, followed by 1 divided by the square root of 2, followed by 1 divided by the square root of 3, and so on. In this stack, the ith square will have a side length of 1 divided by the square root of i. Let's take a look at what this stack looks like if we keep going. As we zoom in, we'll notice that at first, the cubes actually visibly look like they're getting smaller, but as we get further out in the stack, the difference between 1 divided by the square root of i and 1 divided by the square root of i plus 1 is harder to see. This structure is called the infinite gift. It turns out that if we want to compute the length of the gift, we simply add up the side lengths, so we get the sum where i ranges from 1 to infinity of 1 divided by the square root of i. This infinite series diverges, and so this sum is infinite. Suppose we wanted to wrap this infinite gift. Notice that on cube i, there are four faces that are visible. Each face on cube i has an area of 1 over root i times 1 over root i, which is 1 over i. Therefore, we have to at least enclose a surface area of 4 times 1 over i for each cube. This means that the gift wrapping area is going to be greater than or equal to the sum where i ranges from 1 to infinity of 4 times 1 over i but this is four times the harmonic series, which diverges. So this sum is also infinite. Finally, if we wanted to figure out how much we could actually put in this gift, we can compute the volume of the gift as the sum where i ranges from one to infinity of one over the square root of i cubed, which is one over i to the three halves. It turns out that this can be computed by using the Riemann zeta function at three halves, and it's approximately 2.6124. You cannot create or wrap this infinite gift, but you can still fill it. The infinite gift shows you just how bizarre things can be when you consider infinite sums.